A4 Media. All rights reserved. What's up, girl? Ain't nothing. This nigga ain't here stressing, talking that old off the wall, back to Africa shit again. What? That guy body shit? Yeah, that dumb shit. I'm trying to get up out of here. I hear that. Yeah, so. We need to cultivate. Um. And rejuvenate the health and longevity of the relationships of our people. You know, this is something that we each have a role to play in. You know, we have a natural relativity with each other, um, which spans many, many hundreds of thousands of years. You know, and this is strictly for our American people, our Americans, our American Indians, our Aboriginal Americans. I can't speak for nobody else. I can't even speak for all of my people. But what I can do is what I'm doing right now, which is encouraging you all to cultivate and rejuvenate yours, which is essentially our relationships with each other. Everything in nature expresses itself, communicates, and our communication has been compromised. What I call contract whores, puppets and puppies. Who are given scripts, who are putting on costumes and makeup and with a, a character that has been predetermined by foreign influence throughout media, which is trickled down into society. Our communication has been compromised. It has been corrupted. <clears throat> the dysfunction that's presented throughout social media by the nanosecond. The ignorance that is spoken or typed in and communicated. Recorded via video and audio. The lack of etiquette and dignity that is presented by our people who are to be adults is fully visible and audible to our youth. Our daughters and sons are observing Various mothers and daughters of our, pardon me, mothers and fathers of ours, including other daughters and sons, disrespecting the hell out of each other all day long, man. Disrespecting the hell out themselves. Of course, it's your phone. It's your social media page. Okay. That sounds good. You're doing what you want to do. But you know me, I'm big on comparative analysis. I'm big on that. So, I'm curious to know, right here in America, North America, how is it that amongst our American people, 
who defame their own character and allow foreigners to defame our character, our collective American character with this African-American, black, and what, whatever else they want to um, script and then uh, present these puppets and puppies contract horse to present Therefore, influence and manipulate and essentially deceive our people into accepting this, these, these ignorant terms, this, this, these dysfunctions, these unnatural identities. Let's compare these unnatural activities that occur by the nanosecond thanks to media and social media and things of that nature, let's compare that to what the foreigners are presenting in regards to themselves and their identity. I haven't had a chance to really look into it yet, but I can imagine that there is a certain etiquette that is just present throughout the foreigners' communications. Not a whole lot of derogatory speaking towards each other. Not a whole lot of disrespect, such as calling their mothers and daughters bitches, hoes, and thoughts by the nanosecond across the country. Nor are they disrespecting their males, the females respecting the males, and the males respecting the females, and etc. The the, the, their youth disrespecting each other and disrespecting quote unquote adults, mothers and fathers, and etc. I'm sure there is a stark difference, a complete difference. And this ties into psychology, this ties into social engineering. What I can do is encourage you to be aware of yourself. Be aware of what it is you desire. Do you desire to be disrespected? Do you desire seeing other people being disrespected? If not, you have something to do. If you do, well... You get what you, you get, what you give, right? Cow season is over. A4 Media.